Hello lovely people, welcome back to my channel. Uh, how are you guys today? I hope you are doing great. I'm doing great. Uh, today I decided to film like a first impression get ready with me video. I think this is how people call it because I have a lot of new stuff like tests and also my tarts orders arrived. Uh, so today I decided to test the uh, Rainforest of the Sea foundation. Rainforest the Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation uh, and the Maracuya Chrysalis Concealer because these are both in Lysand. I also got the Rainforest of the Sea Concealer but this one is in Fair and it's too light. So I think that I'll test this in another video, mixing it with something else, with another Tarte Concealer, a darker shade. Okay, so today I will start with my eyes as usual and I do have a bunch of new Pony Effect products to test today. Uh, the Pony Effect Unlimited Cream Shadow and this is how they look. I mean the packaging is just gorgeous and this color in particular is called Open Minded. Ivory type of shade. But it has a bit of like top, a slight topy undertone in it. And I will use my concealer buffer brush from Zayeva to apply this all over my eyelids. So this is our eyeshadow base. I usually like a lot these Pony Effect cream shadows. I have the Frame Fix eye tints from Pony Effect. I think this is how they called and they last a very very long time on me without creasing so uh, I hope these are the same now I will use a little bit of this color this is high standards it's like a neutral medium brown and I will apply this in the crease oh, let's see this applies better this is actually I think this is more creamy than the previous one and I will try to apply this more in the crease, but as well on my eyelid. I'm trying to do this quite fast since uh, these set quite fast as well. And then I'm using again open-minded, like to, you know, just erase these harsh lines. Uh, it's definitely more complicated uh, to work with cream shadows because they set quite fast. Um, and you don't have enough time like to blend everything perfect. Okay, I think that I will actually use the X Factor one because it's a very interesting shade. Um, some blue flecks in it. You can see it's like a two pro. So I will take a Zoeva two three four Lux Smoky shader brush, and I will pack this. Yeah, it's like a duo pro. Let me see there. I will pack this all over my eyelid. And I'm applying a little bit more of that brown shade in the crease. Now I said I will use only cream shadows, but um, I just have to use a little bit of this uh, creamy color from the Kat Von D Shade Light Eye Palette. Uh, you know, just on my brow bone to correct the harsh lines a bit more. Okay, and now I will use this black. Again from the Kat Von D palette. I haven't used black in a while, so I will be using it today. And I will concentrate this mainly like in here on my outer V. Now I will take a clean blending brush and I will try to blend here the edges. Uh, okay, now I will use my Inglot 77 gel eyeliner. I bought this when I was in Moldova. I got some more stuff from Inglot. I will film, I will try to film a haul very soon. Uh, beauty, like makeup. Hole. And I'm using my hot water brush for this, uh, the 007S one or S00, I don't remember. Something with 007 and it's synthetic. Because of that cream shadow, my lids look a bit not crispy, but you know that sets. And I packed quite a lot, so if you have, you know. If you have mature skin, this will probably not be good for you, not a good look for you. And now I will do a wing. Okay, and that's it. I will leave it like this. And I will do the second one. I love this Inglo Gel Eyeliner, it's one of my favorites. I know some people say that it transfers on them, or other people say that they absolutely love it. 
I love those. I love it. Today I will use as mascara my heavy rotation mascara. I will come closer. This is the heavy rotation extra long mascara. Um, I've had in the past uh, another one. Um, this one has like a smaller brush. The other one had a very big brush. I bought this when I was in uh, Malaysia in Kuala Lumpur. This is one of my favorite mascaras all time. I mean of course I had the other version but this one yeah this one is great as well. The other one was for volume, this one for length. Now I don't care so much uh, for length because I will use you know false lashes. Yes yeah, so this definitely looks very very good. Of course I have this black eyeliner and you are not able to see very well the mascara but I will show it to you in another video when I will do more natural makeup. Now before I put on my false lashes I always like to uh, do my brows and today I will actually use my archery brow pen uh, from um, Soap and Glory. This is a drugstore brand. I don't have any new products uh, use for the brow so like a brow pen so I will use this one. Now for lashes I will use as usual my duo lash adhesive. This is the Latix free one. So yeah, these are Gigi. Okay so my face is clean right now I removed the fallouts and now the fun part the foundation so the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation this is the water foundation all the fond de top okay uh, I got the shade light sand and this is how it looks like the bottle is gorgeous and you have here like this dropper type of pipette it gets a bit messy but the bottle looks very good I will say that. Today I will test uh, a bot from Netta Porter about the artist brush. Oh, I really want to try this again for a long time. And I got the oval 7, this is how it looks like, because the oval 8 and oval 10 uh, are quite big for my face. I tried these, um, I think it was in Harvey Nichols. Now as a first impression it feels a bit cheap, not gonna lie. Uh, I wanted this to be more heavy. But I guess it's because of the plastic handle. But I guess you can easily break this off if you don't place your, I guess, your finger like this. Like this is, it feels indeed very soft and the hair is very densely packed, which it's a good sign. Reminds me of the Sigma Flat Top Cover Brush. Okay, so let's see. I don't even know how I'm supposed to use this brush. Feels super soft. Definitely softer than the Sigma brush. No, just even. Just even. No like marks, uh, lines, anything. Just very, very even. Yeah, I like it. So far I like it. It's a bit like unusual to use it, but yeah, it looks it looks good. Yeah, it's very very odd to use this brush. So I guess I'm you either I love it or hate it. Okay, so the foundation so far looks very good, it looks very natural, so it has more of that satiny finish. It's not dewy, it's not matte, it's like in between. It's a very natural finish, I love that. Um, this brush, you know that I have this uh, blemish. And this brush, when you do like this, when you swipe, you know, uh, this all over your face, it like moves the foundation around a little bit so I don't think that this is perfect for if you have like blemishes, more problematic skin uh, because it will just take the foundation uh, and I have a few like in here and you can 
see those blemishes and it's not the foundation it's the brush because I saw that when I moved the brush um, you know the foundation moves with this as well. For my concealer today I will use the Tarte Marquee Creaseless Concealer and I will apply this uh, with my beauty blend. This has a very very like creamy consistency I'll try to show you in here and I will apply a little bit in here and here I usually, you know, place more concealer in the areas where I need it more and then I apply it all over, spread it all over. Um, it has a more like creamy consistency, so I think it's great for dry skin as well. Dry skin, normal skin, combination skin, but you definitely need to set it. Um, I don't know about the creasing, but so far it looks very good. And it definitely has more like a good medium coverage. It's not full coverage for me, but it's, uh, it's a good medium. Now I will apply some powder, my Vanilla Co. Prime Primer Hydrating Finishing Powder with my Chico Hodo GSN 03 brush. And I will apply this like underneath eyes, T-zone. And just dust it all over. Okay, now for contour today, I will use my favorite, the Raw Umber uh, from Senna Cosmetics. And for this contour, I will use my Koyodo brush. Um, this is actually a foundation brush, but um, I like to use it for contour because it's just a perfect shape. Yes. As a highlighter, I will use again a new product for me. This came in this lovely pouch. I bought this on Cult Beauty uh, and it is the Jouer Highlighter in Ice and it's their mini version. Um, icy type of color and it has a bit of gold, it has a bit of like pinky orangey uh, sheen to it. I mean it's just a mixture of things and uh, it just looks so gorgeous. So. Yeah, let me use this uh, Hakuhodo brush. This is the J5521 brush. And I will take a little bit of this. And I will apply this on my cheeks. My god. Now I'm taking again the shade High Standards. And I will apply this underneath my eyes or my bottom eyelid and then again I'm taking the X factor so again I'm placing this only like in the center and here is a new one this is future proof I will apply this uh, in a corner for some extra sparkle just a little bit in here wow this actually looks gorgeous I love so much how this looks, especially on top of the brown, it creates such a nice effect. Okay, and they started doing something outside, as usual. So I will use the Pony FX uh, eyeliner. This is one of my favorite eyeliners of 2016. And I will definitely talk more about these in my 2016 favorites. But this is just um, a one in blackout, so it's basically black. I will just try to smudge a little bit the pencil there. So it becomes like one with eye makeup as well. And for my bottom lashes, I will use the Lash Curler Express from BCL. My favorite mascara. Boy, these people are crazy. Crazy. Okay, okay, almost finished. So for my lips, I will use my Nude 6 Intense Matte um, Lip and Cheek pencil yeah this is in the color tamed uh, I will actually show you a close up now excuse my dirty hands and this is the color it's like a nudie mauve type of shade I just love it so much and these apply so beautifully you can see like so smooth you can see that it looks matte but it's a very hydrating type of matte just like a matte lipstick in a pencil form like 
the color is just oh my god so you guys that's it this is the final look uh, and I'm a bit like I put on my uh, earrings which I love these I got in John Lewis uh, in the vintage section I always take a look there because I love vintage jewelry uh, because it's unique and you cannot find something similar um, and it's just really well made and I love it I have my Uniqlo um, cashmere top type of thing and yeah, that's about it uh, this I'm not sure if I like it uh, it applies you know the foundation very well but I need to work more with this one to understand if I really like it or I still like my beauty blender this so far it looks lovely uh, I don't know how much it will last on my face but it looks really nice and the color is really nice it feels very light on the skin which I like uh, and it gives me that natural uh, satiny finish um, and I also like a lot the concealer yeah it looks very very good and so far I don't see I don't notice any kind of creasing so far these I like a lot I like all the pony effects uh, eye tints that I've tried and cream shadows uh, I will actually go ahead and film a video about these right now um, because I want to do like a proper review of products and I will have some concealers and a lot of other stuff and yeah I hope you like this makeup look uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this video uh, I hope you like my grey background so thank you so much for watching lovely people and I will see you very soon with some new videos take care Bye.